Yeah, tell me when you're recording. Well, I'm recording. I've been recording. We all going up and down over here. You, you know, if you've ever been to South Louisiana, we got these uh, these roads designed, these special design roads down here to keep the riffraff out. All right, spin it and don't fall off the dock. Go for it. Hey, it actually worked. Over the dock? Yep. Yeah. Shake it. Shake it. Pick the whole thing up. Make sure you're good. No shrimp, but hey. But well, we're gonna get it. Learn my lesson. We had it. What happened? We stuck it all in. You had that door. can too? I guess. <laughs> Me too. Finna go get them scrimps. <laughs> home away from home. Boots on. Yeah. They got on fancy boots. I got on my deck hand boots. We're supposed to put this net in. Show y'all what we got here. We got the tail bag going in. This is our tail bag float right here in case in case uh, we hang up or something like that and need to get to the other end of the net. I kind of rigged that up on there. This is our uh, rope we pull in the tail bag with. We circle to keep the net and all out of the motor, hopefully while we're putting the net in. So we're just circling in a tight circle right now. Try to get this net in without it being tangled up and stuff. See the bottom line, kind of shake some of that grass and junk out of it, clean it out as good as possible while we're putting it in. shrimps show you how we put this shrimp net out as long as we going with the wind you know it's gonna keep us keep us pushed back a little bit I'm gonna give it just a little more fuel Steven. all right go ahead about right there you ready yeah. wait 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 I'm hung up all right, I'm good now. Drop our doors in. Hold back a little bit, let it spread just a little.
this will be turning a lot like that. We're keeping that wheel wash out of that net is what we're doing. So so the, the shrimp ain't disturbed from the wheel wash and running to the sides. That way we, we catching on fresh, undisturbed bottom. Tickler chain nets and everything's working on that undisturbed bottom over there. If you put that wheel wash right down the center of that net, it makes them shrimp scatter out and you won't catch as many. Pull it, pulling up. Pulling in that tail bag, it's heavy too. All right, now throttle back a little bit, just to that clicks. Get down in there. Come here, Steven, let's grab it real quick, get it in, in the boat, and then we can kick it back up a little bit. All right. You ready? One, two, three. Now, open it a little bit. Look at the crab. You got some scramps too. All right, got to tie this tail bag back. Steven, you checking me on the horizon? Just, just make sure we ain't close to nothing.
grass and get all the crab you want right there. Pass that, Steven.
clip on. I'm clear. By at that time, was it? Yeah. I want that little catfish right there. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, shoot, that's a bad angle for me. Go ahead and untie it. I gotta get out from behind this net. I got a horrible angle right here. Alright. Get out of there, big blue. slide it on the side of this boat. So I get right there and slide it. Big ones in there. Like a baby. Get out of there. Crab like a gap. Hey, there's more shrimp in here. Yeah. A good bit more. So, oh yeah, no doubt. I'm not saying they're big, a lot of big ones, but way more shrimp. Yeah, I just that back, Mike, but I mean, you sit on that ice, it's gonna be a weird thing on your body. You can't fish bait. No, 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 I had to fix that where that wouldn't happen again.
You want to keep that? Are you sure? Yeah. You didn't throw in. Ooh. Think of it. I got it. Big ones and squids. this shrimping trip y'all see right here we got some crab shells we're gonna make some stuffed crabs we got some flounder we're gonna fry up some flounder and we got some shrimp it's been peeled de vein i got them soaking in a little egg wash and we got all of our ingredients i'm gonna set the flounder and shrimp over there i'm not gonna go over what we put in our mix but that's mixed up ready to fry what i am gonna do is i'm gonna give y'all a good recipe to make y'all either some crab cakes or some stuffed crab. Show you what we put in there. As usual, we don't do a lot of measuring, so might have to add or take away a little bit. But we've got half of a big red onion, two sticks of celery, and a small bell pepper. And then we got about a pound of crab meat, maybe a little over. That's just some crab meat that we, we picked out of these crabs. That is not store-bought crab meat, so. This is what we just caught in the shrimp net. What this is, is some bread. You're gonna want some white bread for your base. Y'all can see I trimmed um, all the sides off just to get rid of the brown, but I also had some Hawaiian rolls left over for some barbecue. Put that in there. We're gonna need some eggs. We're gonna probably need some, we're gonna need some crackers. I don't know exactly how many. Um, I've got some broth. 
I'm just gonna use some chicken broth we're gonna be adding to this. Um, and we got liquid crab oil. That's one of the most important ingredients for stuffed crabs or crab cakes is liquid crab oil. Got Tony's garlic. I got some celery salt and some garlic salt and that's it. So it's all scattered out because we got a little bit of everything. We're gonna fry our flounder in our shrimp. I don't like to put flour in our Cajun cooker. So we're gonna cook it in an iron pot out under the porch. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get started. We're gonna saute our vegetables real quick. I don't like raw vegetables, the crunchy texture. So before we mix our stuffed crabs up, I'm gonna saute these vegetables up real quick. Yeah. Got that Trinity right there. It smells so good. I love onions. All right, I know before we even start, we're gonna need at least one tube of crackers. So we're gonna start with one tube of crackers and we're gonna crumble these dudes up as fine as possible. And you are just do them in a the tube like that. Get them all nice and crunched up. Look how purdy you yep, be stuck. We're gonna go ahead and Put two, two tubes of crackers in there. I think we're gonna need it. We're gonna make a bunch of them. Now, I already know we're gonna need a couple of eggs in this as a binder to help bind that together. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of eggs in there. All right, so we got three eggs in there and our bread. That was one loaf of bread, by the way. We're going to pour all this crab meat in there. That's the white meat and claws. Look at that. We're going to we'll actually get our, mm. our broth and put some broth in it. it. Tastes so good. Don't want to overdo it. See how that, see how that works. He almost made a mess. Almost, but not quite. Mm -hmm. And we'll go ahead and I'm, I'm going to start out. We're gonna have to fry up one of these and taste it before we stuff our crabs. So I'm gonna start out with about two caps. I love this of stuff. Liquid crab boil. Smells so good. All right, we're gonna hit that with the Tonys. Definitely the garlic. And we got our celery salt right there. That's gonna give it a little extra celery kick. And we got a little garlic salt. I just like this Lowry's garlic salt. Pretty good stuff. So we're gonna roll with that. And stir it up. We're outside now. All I right. bet you our grease is hot. We're gonna get them flounders put in there. And uh, yeah, we just got Tony's and garlic in this cornmeal mix. Y'all see that? Y'all see his hand. We show how to cut these flounder up, how to dress them and all in another one of our videos. So Y'all can go check Later. that out. Cooking. Hey, Y'all smell that in the camera? In the video? It's so good. All right, we got everything going. We're gonna start. Mixing our uh, crab cake up, crab stuffing. They're gonna go in these. Oh, they look so good. We're taking our fish. We just flip them. One more minute and we'll be back. Guess what we're adding? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of meat, so we're gonna add a few more of these Hawaiian rolls and a little bit more broth. That's a, really a, about a pack and a half of them Hawaiian rolls. Y'all think we're cooking enough for everybody? So yeah, there's our broth going in. We know we're gonna need more Tonys, so we're going with the Tonys. We're gonna add one more cap of the liquid crab boil. That's my favorite stuff, it smells so good. And if you want the recipe, you're gonna have to kind of guess at it like I'm doing. Yeah. Cause we don't really cook off of recipes. We try to do recipes a lot of times to get people pretty close, but I'm just being honest with you to keep it real like we normally do it. We do not use recipes. Very rarely 
do we use a recipe? We're running from the kitchen to the carport. We're out here to see our fish. Y'all see it? Hey, Woo oh, yeah. yeah. They're ready to jump out of there. Now the shrimps are ready to them, jump in there. Ooh. Yeah. Have to let them cool down before you bite into it. Yum. Oh, empty grease. Uh, I'm going to see it up close. Look at that. They're still sizzling. Here comes my favorite. Oh. The most cramps. Oh, yeah. Shrimp cowboys. Shrimp kebabs. I love shrimps. Barbecue shrimp. Sauteed shrimp. Fried shrimp. You like to eat Bradley? I look like I like to eat. Reminds me of Forrest Gump. <laughs> Bradley, there he is. What are you doing? Stirring up these old. Did you add Stuff anything crab. extra? No, I'm just stirring these, stirring them up. You let that sit a minute and then stir it, and it'll kind of soak up all that moisture, kind of redistribute that moisture in there. We still got our veggies sauteing. Cause veggies he, fixing to come in there any second now. He does not like to eat any kind of raw veggies. No raw vegetables. I like raw vegetables. Not my cup of tea. Look, Look right there. at that. Mm. They fixing to go in there. Oh, we did add about half a stick of butter to these vegetables to saute them, so half a stick of butter to the recipe. Yeah. Let's see what I got little Miles to wear. Look at that. I got him a pair of overalls. Look at them. They're so cute. Oh, yeah. That's perfect, y'all. Perfect. Perfect. But y'all know what else is perfect? My shrimps. I'm gonna go check on them. We're here. Come on, dude. We're waiting on Bradley. They look so good. Yes, they do. I'm gonna turn, turn everything off first. Oh, them's ready to go. Look at that. Y'all see all of that? It's golden. Sixteen twenty, straight out of South Louisiana. You could put that on a po boy. You could put it on a salad. You could put it in like a tortilla. You can make tacos. They probably you ain't, miss one, dude. Don't miss that. One. They probably ain't gonna make it to no po boys. That's all I'm saying. Bradley wants to know if we're gonna make sides to go with this. No. I got salad. I'll make a salad. I don't eat salads. Y'all remember, he don't eat raw veggies. I love salads. We got crab, stuffed crabs to go with it. Yeah. Bradley ain't waiting to test it out. He's going to go ahead and stuff some. I got confidence in it. Heck yeah. We're going to stuff them. And it's just me, Bradley, and Dylan. Right. So we're going to make enough for us. And then we're going to make up the others. And like Bradley said, We'll freeze them. We'll cook them another night. All right, y'all know we, uh, it's been a few days since we got back from South Louisiana catching those shrimp. And, uh, look at that. That's pretty. We it's just, we just take took these when we processed our crab. Y'all seen some of our videos us processing them. We just ended up taking these shells, put them in a Ziploc bag, put them in the freezer. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, picked out all of our crab meat. And you can vacuum seal or put that in a Ziploc bag as long as you don't leave it too long. And it'll be good for a couple weeks, you know. And you take it back out of the freezer and you can go to making some of this kind of stuff with it. And that's what we did. And we're going to stick this in the oven at 350. Because Bradley was kind of indecisive. 350. For how long? Till they're done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So they're good golden brown because the only yeah. thing that's in there that's not cooked is the eggs so 
Yeah. Go ahead and put them in there. They're ready to go. Oh, look at these beauties. Check it out. They show pretty. Ooh-wee. Make sure y'all want to just crawl through that video and eat one. All I need is a little ketchup. I like them shrimps. He likes ketchup. And that ketchup. Yeah. Tell you what, I'm going to turn things first. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for the blessings you've given us. Thank you for letting us be able to make these trips and harvest our own food like this. Catch our own shrimp, flounder, crab, and the ability to cook all this and make all this. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now time to try it out, but I already know that shrimp's fine. Hmm. I don't flounder. Oh, look at that. And you can't beat them shrimp. You can do them any kind of way you want. You ain't beating that right there. I just gonna tell y'all. We might do a, a video later on just frying shrimp. I don't know if we've done that one as far as how we mix our flour and all. Real similar to how we do our fish and our cornmeal. A lot of videos on that. We're cooking them flounder the same way. I always eat them side fins on that flounder. All that right there. Oh, the tail. That's just like a big old bluegill tail. Mmm. But I pull them side fins out right there. And then that's the side we filleted off of. You'll get a little bit of meat off of that too, but not, not a ton. But you got that side that's left with the skin on it. That's too good for ketchup right there. I ain't gonna lie. Now, the you test. That. Come on now. We're ready for you to try that crab cake. I'd like to know how you're gonna eat it. Oh, you got a fork. Y'all check that out right there. He went for his mouth way too quick. Mm. That's so good. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. There is no way you can buy a stuffed crab or crab cake that tastes as good as this right here. Um, it's a little bit of work, but if you pick out those crab, catch you some, buy them, whatever you want to do, pick them out, process them, and make you up some stuffed crabs like this right here. There's, there's not another stuffed crab you're going to buy in the world that's going to touch this right here, I promise you. Hmm. That's just as good as it gets. Let's so tell you what, we just to sit down and eat our food. Y'all be sure, if you hadn't subscribed, if you made it this far in the video, and you're not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. We need those thumbs up. That's what helps get the videos out there. We always ask him for that. I hate to, but that's what helps us out and that's what spreads the word, the channel, and that gets us out there. So that's gonna be it for this one. God's Country Hunting and Fishing, keeping it real. In the meantime, we're always I'm keeping about, it. I'm about to turn really this crap. Really real. <laughs> really mm. real. Now it's time for me to make my plate. Yeah, I ain't stopping just because the camera's off. Later, y'all.